For an Autodesk Inventor, we have these three parts. These are, in this case, these are parts from a robotics um, kit, basically. Uh, this VEX robotics kit. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to constrain these parts into an assembly. Okay, so notice I said constrain them into an assembly. So an assembly is a collection of parts. So if you can imagine, each key on your keyboard is an IPT. Okay. When you put all those little pieces of plastic together and make, a, and you know, you have the surrounding plastic and the electronics inside and the wires coming out, all that together is an assembly, okay, created from a bunch of parts. So IPT is a part. An assembly is this right here. So an assembly, I forget, it's an IAM file. So we're going to go ahead and create an assembly here. So click assembly. All right, now. What we're going to do first is we're actually going to place the parts into an assembly. So we click on place, click on place, and we're going to go find where the parts are located. So in my case, they're located right here. All right. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, place this uh, C channel uh, 25 hole here. Okay. And notice you can get a, a preview as you go down. All right. So let's go ahead and we're just going to do this one. Whoops. The wide one here, open. And notice that now we have this thing kind of stuck to our, uh, our mouse. And what's going to happen is the first one we click on is going to stay, right? So notice that stays, but we still have it stuck to our mouse. So we can click as many as we need. Say we need three of these, okay? So we need three. Once we're done and we've clicked each time to create a copy of it, Okay, we're going to right click and click OK. And that's it. Okay, so now we have three copies. Now the first one, sorry, the first one I clicked is here. The second one is here and the third one is here. Okay, now what I can do in previous versions of Inventor, the first one that you click would have been what's called um, grounded. Okay, so grounded means if I click, if I so what I'm doing here is in the, the explorer bar over here, I'm going to click on one. Notice how they highlight when I go over them in the explorer bar. I'm going to go ahead and right click and click grounded. Okay. And that means that that one does not move. Notice the little pin that's in it. Now I cannot move it. See how I can't move it? So I'm going to unground that one. So in previous versions, if you're using one earlier than 2017, previous versions sometimes had it, the first one grounded. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and scroll my mouse out to just get kind of a better perspective. Um, and we're going to go ahead and place another component. So click on place, and then we're going to go to um, uh, 25 hole here and click open. Okay, and we're going to use just a couple of these. Right click, 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 right click, OK. Then we're going to place again. Okay. And notice that we have quite a few things to choose from here. Okay, I'm just arrowing down through them. Arrowing down through is a really great way to do this. Okay, so plate, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And click, 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 right click, OK. All right, so that's me placing these components. Now, if you wanna practice with this particular set of, of uh, components here, uh, you can easily, um, easily find them. All you need to do is just go ahead and, and search in Google of uh, VEX space IPT, and you should see the words appendix. I think it's like appendix nine. If you click on there, basically what you're gonna get is this uh, thing that says Imperial, okay? All right, so uh, that's how you place components in an IAM. Uh, best of luck to you. Uh, good luck.